Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us understand the concept of SSAS cube hierarchies. Let us go to our SSDT, let us create a project, let us select multidimensional SSAS project. So we will create our project over here. SSS dev3 Let us connect to the database Let us establish a new database connection Let us take the server name So the connection has succeeded. Let us connect with service account. Finish. So database connection is established. Now let us create data source view. Let us select our fact table and let us click add related tables for both the fact tables. Let us rename it to DSV. Finish. So now our data source view is also created. Now let us create a cube. Let us select specify the fact tables. Let us specify the exact facts that is sales amount and count for both the fact tables. Let us remove these two tables. This is a cube. So a cube is now almost prepared. Let us add attributes to our dimensions. Let us add attributes to the date dimension. So we'll add calendar year, calendar quarter. English month name and the date that is the day let us add attributes to the customer dimension let us add attributes to the product dimension So now we have added our attributes, so let us deploy our cube. But before this we need to specify the database server. So let us select the name of the analysis server. Let us go to properties, deployment and specify the database server, analysis server. And let us rename this cube to db underscore 3. So now let us again deploy. So you can see that the deployment has succeeded. Let us refresh the database. So db3 has appeared now. Now you can browse the cube by going to the browse tab of cube. So we can browse for the amounts, sales amounts. We can select different dimensions like calendar year, calendar quarter, month name, etc. But what if we want to create a hierarchy 
or making that is the calendar year is consisting of calendar quarters and quarters are consisting of months and months are consisting of days. So what if we want to create hierarchies for this? So for this purpose, for creating the hierarchies, uh, we can also let's say we let right now let's say remove these particular columns. So this is the hierarchy tab inside the dimension, date dimension. Okay. So let us add year. Year consists of quarter, quarter consists of month, and month consists of day. Okay. So our hierarchy is now almost ready. So let us deploy. So deployment is successful. So let us go to a cube. Let us go to the browser tab. Let us reconnect. Okay, so as some structural changes have happened to the cube, we need to reconnect. Okay, so once we have reconnected, we can again browse the data. Let's say we browse the sales amount for both the measures. And this time, let us browse by the hierarchy that we have created. So if we drag and drop this hierarchy, we can see that all the columns in the hierarchy are displayed in the same order. But now there is some warning being so shown in this hierarchy. That is, it will have reduced performance, right? It will have reduced performance. So how to solve this? See, from the user point of view, even if we solve this, the structure of the hierarchy will not change. So from the user point of view, everything will remain the same. Only benefit that we will derive is we will improve the performance of execution of this particular hierarchy. That is data retrieval through this hierarchy. So we want to improve the performance. So for that, let us make some changes. So right now we can see that all the attributes, four attributes are directly connected to the primary key. That is the date key. So let us specify the hierarchy or relationship over here between the columns or the four keys. So here consists of quarter. Quarter consists of month name. So we can see in the diagram also it is getting updated. And month consists of day. And day is itself dependent on the date key. So now the hierarchy is correct. So let us deploy our cube. So now the we can see that the hierarchy is configured. So let us deploy our cube. So deployment has failed. Now the reason is we have changed the relationship between the columns. Now the columns are not, not directly connected to the primary key. Hence there will be duplicate values. So let us identify every column uniquely. Right? So for this let us first of all correct the quarter part. So go to, let us go to the properties of the calendar quarter. And let us change the key columns and also include the calendar year. Okay. And let us change the name. Okay. To check calendar quarter. Now, for the English name also, it will be repeated across the years. So let us add year to its key and let us give the proper name that is English month name. So now everything is resolved. For the date there will not be any problem because the values are unique in that particular column. So now things have been configured. So let us go and deploy our cube. So we can see that cube has been deployed successfully.
So let us reconnect in order to browse the cube. And this time also, let us select sales amount from both the measures and let us select the hierarchy. Okay, so from the user point of view, the display of the data is absolutely the same, but the benefit is now the performance have improved for the execution of the or the retrieval of data through the hierarchy. We can also view this data in Excel. Okay. So let us select the sales amounts. And now let us select the hierarchy. Okay. So by default, first of all, data will be displayed as per year and we can then drill down. In Excel, we, will, we can have the advantage of drilling down for the hierarchy. So now let us add something more to our cube. Let us add a calculation. That, that is, let us add an average sales value. So average sales will be sum of both the sales amounts divided by sum of counts for the sales amounts. Okay, so the formula is now correct. So let us go and deploy our cube. So we have added one calculated field for average sales. Now to see, see that thing in browser, we need to reconnect. We can also refresh. Right. If there are major structural changes, then we need to reconnect. In this case, we can also refresh and let us reconnect and see the average sales values. If you want, you can remove the columns. So now let us add average sales value as per the hierarchy. Okay, so we are able to see the average sales values as per the hierarchy. Now, if you want to reflect those changes in Excel, then we'll have to refresh the data. Okay, so let us refresh. Now we are able to see the average sales value. If there are structural changes, we need to go for refresh all. So now, after refresh, the average sales is available in the Excel also. Now, let us open a MDX query window. We will see this data, hierarchical data through our MDX queries now. Okay, so we have created the hierarchies. Now, let us query this hierarchical data through our MDX queries. Okay, so for this, the cube name is this one. So it is now cube name is correct and the average sales attribute also correct. So we can see after firing the first query, um, average sales went taken on zero that is columns and one represents rows. So on rows we have English product name, right? And as we have selected members, it is showing all as well as all the members. So all is the summary value and the uh, all the members. Instead of members, if we select children, then it will show the same data except one row that is the row for all that is the summarized row. So that will not be visible. All other data will be visible as it is. So we can see that except that all row, all other data is visible as it is. 
now if we view average sales as per the hierarchy okay then let us first of all so this is the hierarchy okay so we can add hierarchy in this way by drag and by doing a drag and drop so let us see average sales on columns and hierarchy on rows and its children okay the hierarchy now it will show data as per the year okay that is the default output that we have seen in the excel in the in the excel also it is showing the first output as through years and then we can drill down right so over here it will show output as per the first level that is year okay but what if we want to see all the levels in hierarchy then we can go for instead of children we can go for members as the keyword so if you use members then it will show all the data that is summary data as well as all the levels so it is having a row for all and then it is having data for all the levels so i hope friends this video tutorial on ssas cube hierarchies is useful to you thank you